And with seeing, we're talking about your ability to discern sound movement mechanics from unsound movement mechanics. Of course, this is going to depend uh, largely on your knowledge, your ability to know what you're looking for. So it has a trickle-down effect there. And we really want you to be good at seeing when the athlete is both static and dynamic. Static is when the athlete is not moving or maybe just paused briefly. This could be in a setup position for a deadlift or a receiving position in that push jerk. Dynamic is connecting the points between a start and finish position or a start and a receiving position. This could be during the first pull of a deadlift or a clean or a snatch. It could be during the drive of a push press or a push jerk. What is the athlete doing? And what we found is that most of the time, newer coaches are better at static. Why is that? It's easier to see why. You have more time to make your analysis. You have more time to check the relationships of the, maybe the shoulders relative to the hips or what the back position looks like. What we find is that the dynamic stuff is a lot harder to see and where we're going to focus a lot of our time this weekend. The faster the athlete's moving, the more subtle the fault, the more difficult that's going to be. And so ways that you can improve seeing is, of course, just coaching more. But also, I really encourage you to take advantage of video. I know a lot of people use Coach's Eye. That's really helpful. I've spent plenty of time just watching Olympic weightlifters, some of the fastest athletes in the world. And I'll take that YouTube video, and I'll go frame by frame, and then I'll go back. Like, oh, yeah, look at the pressure in the heels. Oh, wait, go back. Where's the bar? And forward and back. And that's a way then you can kind of develop that eye at a slower speed to then replay and be able to see it in real time. But this is tough because you not only need to know what you're looking for, but where to look and when to look. For example, in that push jerk, yes, I do need to see that they're back on their heels, so I might be looking at the heels, but then I also might have to drift my eye up to see if they hit hip extension, so I see that direct line or a straight line between their torso and their femur for a brief second, but I also have to look and see whether or not they did that prematurely or not. So did they hit that straight line of the body hitting hip extension before a premature shift to the toes? I also have to look at the bar path, make sure it's close to the frontal plane. How's their active shoulders? I have to look at that position. So there's a lot going into this to be able to see everything when that athlete is moving. 